Picture a weapon system so smart it can see a threat coming before the enemy even fires. This is not science fiction, this is real and it is happening right now in the year 2026. Israel, a small nation with a long history of conflict, has just turned a new page. They have built a military network that doesn't just defend, it predicts, it decides, and it changes everything we know about war. Welcome to War Tech Zone. I'm here to break down what might be the biggest military breakthrough of our time. If you follow defense news, you know Israel is always at the front of new technology, but this is different. This isn't just a better missile or a faster drone. This is a whole new way of thinking about the battlefield. It's like giving an army a super-powered brain. Today, we're going on a deep dive. We'll look at how this system works in simple terms. We'll talk about why it gives Israel such a big advantage, and we'll explore what it means for the rest of the world, for global power, for future wars, and even for our own safety. This story is about technology, strategy, and a nation's fight to survive in a tough neighborhood. So let's get started. To understand why this is such a big deal, we need to look at Israel's past. Israel is a country that has lived under threat since the day it was born. Surrounded by neighbors who often want to see it gone, Israel had a simple choice – innovate or perish. This pressure to survive created one of the world's most creative and effective defense industries. They had to be clever, they had to be fast, and they had to be ruthless in their search for new ideas. You might have heard of some of their past inventions. The Iron Dome is a famous one. It's a rocket defense system that shoots down incoming missiles from groups like Hamas. It has saved thousands of lives. Then there are their drones, small, quiet, and deadly, used for watching enemies and sometimes striking them. They're also world leaders in cyber warfare, fighting battles you never see on a computer screen. Every piece of technology came from a real problem. Every solution was tested in real conflict. This new 2026 system is the next logical step. It's the child of all those past projects. It takes the lessons from the Iron Dome about stopping rockets. It takes the eyes and ears from the drones. It takes the brain power from the cyber units, and it mixes them all together with the newest artificial intelligence. The goal was not just to make a better tool, but to make a smarter soldier. A soldier that never sleeps, never gets scared, and can see the whole battlefield at once. So, what is this thing? Let's break it down without the complex jargon. Imagine you are playing a video game where you can see the entire map. You can see where all the enemies are, what they are doing, and even guess where they will go next. Now, imagine that same power in the hands of a real army. That's the basic idea. The system is built on three main parts. Think of them as the eyes, the brain, and the voice. First, the eyes. This is a huge network of sensors. We're not just talking about cameras. These sensors can see heat, they can listen to radio signals, they can track movement from space, and they can even pick up electronic chatter. They are on satellites in the sky, on drones flying overhead, on vehicles on the ground, and even on the soldiers themselves. Nothing moves without this network seeing it. It is a blanket of constant awareness. Second, the brain. This is where the artificial intelligence comes in. All the information from the sensors floods into a powerful computer system. But this is not a normal computer. It uses AI to do something amazing. It doesn't just report what it sees, it predicts what will happen next. By looking at patterns, how an enemy unit usually moves, what they do before an attack, even how the weather affects their plans, the AI can make a very good guess about the enemy's next move. It's like a chess master thinking 10 steps ahead. Third, the voice. This is the communication network. Once the AI brain decides on a threat and a solution, it needs to tell the rest of the army what to do. And it needs to do it instantly. This system uses super-fast, super-secure data links. It can talk to a jet fighter pilot, a tank commander, a drone operator, and a soldier in a trench all at the same time. It gives them all the same picture of the battle. It tells the tank where to aim. It tells the drone where to fly. It tells the soldier where to take cover. Everyone is on the same page, working together perfectly. Now, let's talk about the real magic, how these parts work together. Let's use a simple example. Say a hostile group in Gaza or Lebanon prepares to launch a rocket. In the old days, Israel's Iron Dome would wait for the rocket to be fired, track it as it flew, and then shoot it down. That takes precious seconds. It's reactive. With the new 2026 system, things happen much earlier. The network of sensors might notice a group of people gathering near a known rocket launch site. A drone's camera sees them moving equipment. Signals intelligence picks up unusual radio 
talk. The AI brain takes all these little clues, the gathering, the equipment, the radio chatter, and compares them to thousands of past incidents. In a flash, it calculates a high probability that a rocket launch is being prepared. It hasn't even happened yet, but the system already knows. It then sends an alert. It might direct a surveillance drone to get a closer look. It might suggest a warning message be sent to the area to stop the launch before it starts. Or, if the threat is extreme, it could recommend a precise preventive strike on that exact spot with a small missile from a drone, destroying the launcher before it can fire. The entire process, from seeing the clue to making the decision, happens in less time than it takes you to read this sentence. This changes everything. It moves defense from reaction to prevention. It stops attacks before they begin. This is the core of Israel's new power. But what does this mean in practical terms for Israel's military? Let's list the advantages one by one. First, it saves lives. The most important job of any army is to protect its own people and soldiers. By stopping attacks earlier and with more precision, fewer Israeli citizens are in danger, and fewer soldiers have to risk their lives in long ground wars. This is a huge moral and political win for the country. Second, it's incredibly precise. Old-fashioned war is messy. Bombs can miss their targets and hit houses, schools, or hospitals. This causes terrible civilian deaths and turns world opinion against you. Israel has faced this problem for years. This new system aims to fix this. By using its super-accurate sensors and smart AI, it can choose a target with pinpoint accuracy. It can hit a single room in a building or a single vehicle in a convoy without destroying everything around it. This means less collateral damage damage, as the military calls it. It means less innocent people hurt. In the court of public opinion, this is a very powerful tool. Third, it lets Israel do more with less. Israel is a strong army, but it's not a huge country. It can't afford to have millions of soldiers like some nations. This system acts as a force multiplier. That's a fancy term for making every soldier, every tank, and every plane much more effective. One soldier connected to this network has the awareness of 10. One tank can defend an area that used to need five. It stretches Israel's military power much further. Fourth, it works anywhere. The system is designed to be flexible. The parts are small and can be moved easily. Whether the fight is in a crowded city street, in the empty desert, or on the open sea, the network can be set up quickly. The AI adapts its plans to the mountains, the sand, or the concrete. There is no place an enemy can hide where this system has an advantage. Fifth, and maybe most importantly, it deters enemies. Deterrence is about making your opponent too afraid to fight you. If a group like Hezbollah or Hamas knows that Israel can see their preparations from miles away and stop them before they even start, they will think twice. Why waste time, money, and lives on an attack that will fail before it begins? This system doesn't just win fights, it can prevent fights from happening in the first place. This is the ultimate goal of any defense technology, to make peace by being too strong strong to challenge. Of course, this new power does not exist in a vacuum. The world is watching and the reactions are strong. Let's talk about the global impact. Other countries are now scrambling. Military leaders in Iran, Russia, China, and even the United States are studying this breakthrough. They see that the rules are changing. Warfare is becoming less about big armies and more about smart networks. This will start a new race, not for more tanks, but for better AI, faster data, and smarter sensors. The next decade will see a global surge in military tech spending, all inspired by what Israel has just done. For Israel's economy, this is a huge opportunity. Israel is already a top seller of defense technology. This new system will be their flagship product. Countries that feel threatened, from Eastern Europe to Southeast Asia, will be lining up to buy pieces of this technology or something like it. This brings money, influence, and new political allies to Israel. But there is also a dark side. This technology raises very hard ethical questions. What happens when a machine is making life and death decisions? Who's responsible if the AI makes a mistake and kills an innocent person? Can we trust a computer to follow the laws of war? These are not easy questions. Right now, Israel says a human is always in the loop. A person must approve any strike. But the AI presents the option and the pressure to act fast is enormous. As the technology gets faster, will that human have any real choice, or will it just be a rubber stamp? The world needs to have a serious conversation about these issues, and Israel's system is at the center of that debate.
Looking ahead, where does this technology go from here? The 2026 system is not the end, it is just the beginning of a new path. Future versions will have even smarter AI that learns from every battle. They will have smaller, cheaper sensors that can be scattered everywhere like dust. They might connect to weapons in space. They will certainly link closer with cyber weapons, allowing Israel to hack an enemy's communications right before a physical strike, leaving them blind and deaf. The ideas inside this military system will also leak into civilian life. The same AI that predicts rocket launches could predict natural disasters like earthquakes or floods, giving people time to evacuate. The secure communication network could protect banks and power grids from hackers. The sensor technology could help manage traffic in megacities or find survivors in a collapsed building. The technology born in war often ends up saving lives in peace. This will be no different. In the end, Israel's story is unique. A small country, under constant pressure, used its talent and its desperation to build something the world has never seen. The 2026 Defense Network is more than a weapon. It is a statement. It says that in the modern world, intelligence is more powerful than sheer size. Speed of thought is more valuable than numbers. And innovation, driven by the need to survive, can reshape the global order. This doesn't mean Israel is now invincible. Every new technology creates a new challenge. Enemies will look for weaknesses. They will try to jam the signals, trick the AI, or attack the power sources. The race between attack and defense never ends. But for now, Israel has taken a giant leap ahead. For us, the public, it's crucial to understand this. What happens on the battlefields of the Middle East doesn't stay there. The technology tested there changes armies everywhere. It changes how our own countries think about defense. It changes the world our children will live in. This is why channels like War Tech Zone exist. We cut through the complex talk and explain what these breakthroughs really mean. We connect the dots between technology, strategy, and your future. If you found this deep dive valuable, if it helped you understand a complex topic, then please support this work. Hit the like button right now. It helps this video reach more people who want to understand our changing world. Make sure you are subscribed to Wartech Zone and have the notification bell turned on. We are here to give you clear, honest analysis on the tech that shapes global power. Now I want to hear from you. This is a big topic with two sides. In the comments below, tell me what you think. Does a system like Israel's that can prevent wars through overwhelming intelligence make the world a safer, more stable place? Or does it just start a scary new arms race in AI, making future conflicts even more unpredictable and dangerous? Share your thoughts. Let's have a real conversation. And thank you for watching more Tech Zone. Stay curious, stay informed. We'll see you in the next video.